This is lines 474 to 482 of Ovid's account of Daphne and Apollo in his Metamorphoses. And in 474, he says, immediately the one, so this is Apollo, the masculine, loves, and then flees, and then we have the other. So the other, the feminine here is Daphne, flees, and she flees the name of loving or lover. And Daphne here is described as Gaudens, rejoicing in the hiding places of the forests and in the exuies and then the spoils or maybe the skins because we're talking about of wild captured animals, captured wild animals. The rival of unwed Diana. So this is not Phoebus Apollo. This is Poibe, the Greek feminine version of that um, epithet. And um, so we're talking about Apollo's twin sister, Daphne. And this is a Greek genitive to correspond with the AE here in the Latin. Um, her witta, her headband, was coercing, was, was restraining, holding back her hair placed without law, literally sort of without regard or without any kind of uh, organization or, or, or intention. Many men, and we know it's men because of the masculine plural I there, many men have sought her and she, having turned them seeking, turned away, turned them seeking her away, it, it, impatient and, and uh, inexperienced of men is wandering the pathless woods. So there's quite a lot going on there describing her. Um, they sought her, and here is she, and she is uh, turning away or having turned away them seeking her. And she's also described as impatiens and experts, so sort of in, inexperienced, um, without knowledge of, of man. Uh, because it's singular there, but but maybe men works better or sounds better. And continuing on, she and, and and something doesn't happen here. We know the neck is and not. What hymen, what love, and what and here finally is our our um, the verb of these these indirect questions. Um, and then we get our main verb here at the end of the line 480. So she does not concern herself with, or she doesn't care what hymen is, what love is, what marriage is. Often her father said, daughter, you owe me a grandchild. Or I'm sorry, um, a, a generum is the uh, stepson, uh, son-in-law, <laughs> son-in-law. And often her father said, daughter, and he's using a different word here, uh, you owe me grandchildren. So let's review my mistake. Generum is a, a son-in-law and nepotes are descendants or here grandchildren sounds better. 